Almost one and a half year ago, I developed an energy meter project using the Blink application. For that, I used SCT-013 current sensor and the ZMPT-101V voltage sensor. These sensors were pretty accurate in reading the current value, voltage value, as well as power and total energy consumed. However, the Blink application recently underwent an update, rendering it unusable for this project. As a result, I decided to rebuild the project using the newly updated Blink 2.0 application. In this project, we will build an IoT-based smart electricity energy meter using the ESP32 and the newly updated Blink 2.0 application. By using the best current sensor SCT013 and voltage sensor ZMPT101V, we can measure voltage, current, power and total energy consumed in kilowatt hour. The readings will be sent to Blink 2.0 application and displayed on a dashboard accessible from any location. In case of power outages, the energy meter data will be stored in the ESP32's EEP ROM memory, thus ensuring that the readings are not lost and are continuous. So let's start our project to automate electricity consumption monitoring. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Next PCV and HQ Online. The HQ Online is a one-stop electronic component sourcing platform. HQ Online provides a complete set of electronic component business services. All you need to do is search the electronic component with a part number. As it has a fastest search engine, it will show you the list of all available parts. Add the part to your cart, then place the order. To get started, check the link in the description. The components required for this project are ESP32 Wi-Fi module or development board, then a 20 x 4 i square c LCD display. The LCD is optional for this project. Then we need SCT013 non-invasive AC current sensor. These are available with 10 ampere, 30 ampere, and 100 ampere current readings. Choose according to your requirements. For the voltage part, we need ZMPT101V single phase voltage transformer module. Some resistors with 10K and 100 ohm values. A 10 microfarad capacitor. Bulb for any load which can consume power. For the bulb, I will be using a holder. For assembly, I will use this breadboard. Let's have a look at the circuit for this project. We are using analog pins 34 and 35 to measure the current and voltage parameters. The 20 x 4 LCD is connected to the I square C pins of ESP32. Registers are used here for a voltage divider network for the current sensor. The wires carrying AC voltage can be connected to the voltage sensor load and power using this image. The current sensor is a clamp type of sensor where you need to plane live wires. I have also designed the schematic using EGDA software. Then the schematic is converted into PCV. You can download the Gava files and order the PCV for easy access and portability of the device. Alright, for testing, I used breadboard for assembly. Using the jumper wires, I establish the connection between registers, capacitors, LCD and sensors. Finally, I connected the load as well. The load and the AC power supply can be directly connected and screwed to the voltage transformer this way. And for the current sensor part, just ensure the live wire between the clamp meter. Alright, the hardware part is done now. Now, let us quickly set up the Blink app. For that, go to the Blink website and sign in using your email ID and password. From the web dashboard, create 4 widgets cause. The 4 widgets are here to display the value of VRMS, IRMS, power and kilowatt hour. 
to the settings as per the instruction here. Finally, the web dashboard looks something like this and is ready to receive the smart energy meter data from ESP32. Apart from the web dashboard, you can also set up your mobile app dashboard. You can download and install the Blink application from Google Play Store. iOS user can download it from App Store. Let us look at the code part now. First, we include a library for LCD display and EPRM. The Emon leaf is for energy meter that can measure current voltage and power. This is a blink library for ESP32. These are the calibration factor to read the current voltage data correctly. From these lines, change the Wi-Fi SSID password and blink authentication code. Under the my timer event function, we calculate the value of current voltage, power and total power consumed. All the values are displayed in a 20 cross 4 LCD display. Similarly, using the EPRM update function, we are updating and saving the current and voltage parameters to EPRM memory. This is useful in case there is a power outage or the device is shut down. It saves the previous value. Using the blink virtual write function, we are updating the value to the blink server. In the setup part, we initialized serial begin, LCD, EPRM and blink and also assign the pins for the current and voltage sensor. In the loop part, blink run and timer run loop continually. Upload this code to the ESP32 board. Now, let's see the demo. The load is connected to the circuit, therefore there is some power consumption. The LCD displays the current voltage, power and total power consumption in kilowatt hour. Similarly, these values are also updated in Blink dashboard. You can access the Blink dashboard from any part of the world. To check the EPRM functionality, we can disconnect the power Even after the power is disconnected and then connected back, the LCD will show the value from the previous value which means there is no loss of data. In conclusion, the development of an IoT based smart electricity energy meter using ESP32 and Blink 2.0 will bring about a revolution in the monitoring and measurement of electricity consumption. The IoT based solution eliminates manual meter readings, saving time and money. This project presents an opportunity to automate electricity consumption monitoring and make it a more streamlined experience. Alright, that's all from the video part today. The complete project details, including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.